music's expression in it, that's what I'm doing. The potential to reach thousands of people with my music is a, it's a treasured opportunity. It's very daunting to expose yourself, I guess, and let everyone know how you're feeling. <laughs> I definitely just want to get more music out so I can reach people that aren't just around my circles, you know what I mean? There definitely is a music scene in Liverpool. I don't think it's dead, I just think it's hidden. I think music is essential. Creativity as a whole is essential. Make music, make art, paint, rip things up, stick them back together in a different way. I think this is yeah, it's an exciting time to be young. But this Levi's Music Project is for everybody. It's just about bringing music to the community. They've set up a studio space for young people to use. And in six months' time, we're going to be taking the stage at Liverpool Sound City. As long as you're on the move and you keep your eyes open to new things, you will be inspired by new things. It's when you start locking in and going, I've got to make this tune, I've got to be inspired. You're not going to be because you're not looking. When you have talent, you don't necessarily have the, the means to hone it. Sick. The spirit of Liverpool is bubbling. It feels alive. To be giving the young people a space, helping them understand their worth, I think that's the important thing. I'm proud to be from the North West because I think it's our time. Yeah, great time for a uh, Scouse rap. I've always had the desire to create beyond myself. I don't know, yeah, there's just a lot going on in, in the old brain box. Just, it's a diamond flow when I decide to fire my bar row. I've got bars for days, I want them all to myself, but they leak out. You've got to definitely be open if you're a creative person. I think music reflects life. It's the manifestation of conflicted, complex human behaviour, and that's my framework. I just realised that it's something that I've been put on this earth to do because I can't not write. Well, rap can chase you, can thunder after you, and then you've got to, like, grasp it in the wind. And the creativity definitely bleeds out due to what is input from the surroundings, and I do think that's reflected in my music. For example, my town is considered the most polluted town in the northwest, so I'm trying to create opportunity out of lack of opportunity, really. It's quite nerve-wracking going in once a week to showcase your creativity and your art history, because it's very emotive. But it's been worth every second of it because of the opportunities that have come from it. That's the most nerve-wracking thing to do. In a room like this, where everyone is looking at you and you're exposed and you haven't met people before, but you have to kind of be friends with them as well, this is the scary thing to do. So now you've done this, everything is easy. To be creative is to, is to be, I suppose. It's the flower from the concrete. It's necessary. Music for me was like a space, so I would, you know, focus on only that and not who was listening or what it was for. What's up, what's up, what's up? Like, it banished my embarrassment. It's more like I understood myself and then my embarrassment disappeared. I think to learn that, you have to expose yourself a little bit first. You don't know, you will never buy now. I get a flow, then you better mind out. Hopefully I can, I don't know, being, like, a good enough mentor to them. So that's what I'm hopeful for. I started writing about, like, not having a relationship with my dad, yeah, and yeah. then... But I think that's just because it was always in the back of my head yeah, and it just yeah, needed yeah. to come out. Yeah, it does that, though, doesn't it? I wrote a song about um, not having a bad relationship with my dad recently. It's like you don't even know it's in the back of your head yeah. until you, like, start to do it. My mum used to say it's like the job of the poet is to be, like, a step ahead of everyone else and to reflect society. Yeah, definitely. And to say the things that people can't say themselves. So tell me what I'm supposed to do. I've always wanted to do music, but got pregnant. So this was like a new lease of life. The first song that I've written, I was so scared about not having like a relationship with my dad. 
but I felt like that was like a big weight lifted off my shoulders as well. When I first started doing music, I was just doing it because I like singing. I'm okay at it, so like we'll just go with this because I'm not really good at anything else. And then having Aubrey and then having that time out of not doing music, I think that got to me because I was like, I want to go out and I want to sing and I want to do music and I can't at the minute. But then the project came along, I like, just threw myself in, so I was like, I need it, like, I need to do this. <laughs> when I first started singing by myself, I wasn't really confident, to be honest. Since I was about 16, I started actually trying to create a sound that was just for myself. It inspires me when people are different and don't really care about the norm. When you hear me music, you'll interpret it the way you want to interpret it, which is completely fine. It's kind of like the words that you're scared to say, so you just put it in a song. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Some days, when I'm feeling really down, I'll put a wig on. Passion, running, two steps back and let you all in. Am I clever? Am I smart enough? Oh, yeah. And people will be like, ah, you look cool. But little do they know that it's because I'm feeling down and I want to be someone else. It is nice to have the studio there ready for me to use and stuff, but it is a bit overwhelming sometimes, so I feel like I'm holding back a little bit. So we are at Sound City in Liverpool, and they finally get to show the world what they've been working on. I've never sang a big festival like this. When it comes to it and I see all these people, I will be nervous. I just want people to like my songs. I want it to go well. Does it feel like the six months has flown by? Oh my, I'm so this. Everyone's kind of grown as people, first and foremost. It's a community, like a music community. But I'm proud of you. All of you. So make as much noise as you possibly can across the line, yeah? If I would never have started the course, I never would have written a song. So I hope they like it. <laughs> Creator, so if the world doesn't like it, then they can make their own art. I feel like when I've been writing, I'm kind of like finding myself. I needed something to push me, and the Levi stuff has helped me take music more seriously. Thank you so much. Just do whatever you want, wear whatever you want, be whatever you want. You only get one life. These kids are outgrown this already. You know, they're too talented, they're too inquisitive. I think it's about time they started showing other people how to do it. Thank you. 